All right, welcome everybody to the oh, fifth episode. <laughs> I completely forgot. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> completely forgot what episode it was we were doing. Episode five of Crossing the Shit. Frames podcast. Yeah, thanks, Joey. Cool. Um, <laughs> as always, is uh Joey with me? Joey, how are you doing? Yeah, man, I'm good. Yeah, just good. You, you're not having you, you're not having a nope, stroke this just, time, are you? Just good. Just good. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. There's still time yet, boys. Yeah. No, I. And as always, <laughs> we haven't talked about the film yet. No, no, not even, not even. And of course, we have a guest with us today. It's our first guest. It's a uh, Jack. Jack Wilkinson. How are Hello, we? JDW. Yes, lovely to be here. Thanks for having me. Yeah. So, um, welcome to your job interview. Uh, the, the first question is why? Why do you want to be a host on the Crossing the Frames podcast? Well, I tell you yeah. what, mate. I am incredibly nervous. It's it's strange. It feels <laughs> like this is it's like a very formal thing. I, I like it, but my God, it's uh, yeah, it's my my heart's going. <laughs> this feels oh, like we've got Jack on the casting mate. couch. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! What's the biggest? Well, you guys have got Jack? what, like four episodes of experience on me, so you guys are pros. I'm expecting you to handle this, and I'll just sort of coast along, right? Handle yeah, he's this. He's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna <laughs> fit the, he's gonna fit the cast and couch chair perfectly. <laughs> oh, oh, lovely. Um, yeah. So, God, this movie. <clears throat> absolute movie. I just want to get right into it because I think it's hilarious. But because I, I really like it, but I think you two don't like it so much. I mean, yes, I haven't did, said man. anything yet, I, so... I just obviously need to establish this before we begin. I mean, are you... Are you, are you, are you, are you being serious? No, you no, I'm full on kidding. It's, it's <laughs> absolute <laughs> trash. Oh, right. I was going to say, like, Jesus. I was seriously no. starting to question, like, your, you like, your mental state. Oh, Guys, don't blow your load all at once. Yeah. Boy. <laughs> That's what I'm all about. Yeah. Doing it just... Three seconds max. Three. Three. <laughs> That's what I said. All right, show off. <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> Save some time for the rest of us, please. <laughs> We're all on borrowed time, mate. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. It hasn't even been two and a half minutes of what you're talking about that shit. I don't want to know what shit you're talking about because you two are weird. I mean, we're yeah, all we're weird. True. Says <laughs> says one of three guys. I'm saying you're weird. One of three guys currently on a group chat on a Saturday evening, sat in their rooms yeah. talking about a movie <laughs> none of us like. That's the yeah. weird thing. Yeah, yeah that's from like eight percent. Eight percent. Fucking hell! What's I didn't actually that? check the Rotten Tomatoes score of Joey. Believe it or not, I know you like to wow. think that. I take all my opinions off there, but uh, I, I I would believe that it was eight uh, percent. Yeah. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fair enough, yeah. that's fair. That's totally it fair. It got a mighty score of 3.2 out of 10 on IMDb. That is quite high. Yeah, that is quite high. Isn't Cons- it? All things considered. Is it possible to have minus points? <laughs> sure. I think this film deserves that, to be perfectly honest. I mean, it yeah. really does. It really does. So, came out 2018, um, directed by Sylvain White. Never heard and of written him. Written by David Burke. Yeah, never, never heard of him. Never heard of him. Oh, what? Written by David Burke based on the character of the same name. What does that mean? Well, I, I guess, I mean, it, it, it's, it's an internet story, right? Is so, it? I mean, I don't know who coined the first fucking Slender Man, like, subreddit post or creepypasta, but I don't know. Is it is it like a copyright? I, I don't know. Maybe. Did anyone owe that? Well, he, <laughs> did he not make the game, maybe? Remember, the, like, the original, the uh, eight pages? Oh, yeah. Maybe. <clears throat> the game came Imagine. quite after the, the creepypasta post, though. I think someone yeah. wrote it like as a story, and then I think they might have had to like sell the rights so the movie could be made. I think. I don't know if um something like that you need to buy the rights for. I wonder if it's just public domain. I'm not sure though, because it wasn't like Netflix recently bought that Reddit post of like I can't remember what yeah, exactly yeah. what it was, but it was a a story. I remember I saw that too. Yeah. Someone posted it on Reddit, but it was they bought it for like well over a million dollars or a million dollars just for a, yeah just for a, a post on reddit like just because a guy you know put like five or six posts of this story i can't remember the exact you remember me talking about it right joey and then yeah you know i remember Nef- this, yeah. netflix like acquired the rights to it and they're going to make a movie out of it or a series Isn't that insane? Yeah, imagine just waking like... up and checking reddit and then <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's unbelievable yeah, it's, right that's absolutely wild imagine doing a reddit post and then netflix approach you i know I it's know. not that's the dream right yeah. yeah. So I'm just looking. It made fifty one million dollars overall. So how, that's how much that's, that's, uh domestic release. 
international. How much did it cost to make though? What was the that, budget of the movie? You know what? I can't a find tenor? that. Which which in I cannot find how much it cost to make, which but indicates it was a that they lost a lot of money. I, I don't want to say if fifty one million, that's I can't imagine it costing any more than like ten. That was a the effects were pretty bad overall, I'd say. And there was no like massive stars in it. Like surely that can't be a like more than 10, 15 million. Well, that's massive the, that's stars. What are you beauty. talking about? It's um, Sylvian. I've already forgot his name. So, Sylvain. Sylvain. Why? Yeah. <laughs> Sylvia, where did you oh, put Sylvia? my copy of the Slender Man? Is it under here? <laughs> Is it by the brook? <laughs> Is she back again? <laughs> She's back. <laughs> Fucking Sylvia, man. Um, oh, I just found a number. It cost 10 to 28 million to make. Up to 28 million to make this. So they Ow. made a profit. So that technically it was a success. By well, all. That well, that's the budget of the movie, but they, that yeah. doesn't take oh, into account point. the good cost point. of marketing, right? Yeah. So maybe yeah, that's, the, that's a beauty of horror movies. They can make them like dirt cheap. I mean, as far as movies go, that is dirt cheap. And then you can just pump out like 20 of them. And if one or two of them stick, you make your money back. It was it's just on that weird. awkward middle ground of like an indie movie and like a big sort of like blockbuster where the effects were just, I don't know, there were just, there was too much of them in your face at once. And I think the, the budget was sort of stretched thin. They should have maybe made things a little bit more subtle. Um, yeah. Some of the, some of the uh, animation and the CGI was just, I, I mean, I, I thought it was fucking atrocious, but it was, it was hilarious in, in many ways. But, but there oh, were some good bits in it. Like the, <laughs> <I'm there> initially. <laughs> <laughs> Like the ending, when it finally and oh when my it, god, when it when ended, we, this movie, this movie is an hour and a half long, and I swear it took me three hours to watch it. That's because no, the I, ending yeah, was good. Same. The I credits can't. were entertaining because it was the end of the movie. Yeah. <laughs> oh, finally, I can go on my phone. Oh, I could yes. not. I had to keep rewinding the movie. I was like pausing it and walking away. It's like, all right, surely I've got like twenty minutes left. It's like, fuck, I've got forty. It's just on and did, on. Did any of you do that thing where you were watching it, but for like maybe? Maybe forty-five minutes of the film, you're on your phone. Oh, I yeah. yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. There was times where I had to like glance away and concentrate. Yeah. I mean, th- there wasn't much fucking happening. No, uh, you know, it was just one girl see something weird, and then another girl see something else weird, but they all sort of blend into one. I mean, there was, you know, the girls are supposed to be these separate entities. They were the same fucking character. Like, oh yeah, a lack thereof. Ah, ah, there, there wasn't any sort of distinguishing feature between any of them. They were just dull, vapid pieces of. Of crap, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> but the thing I was thinking of when watching the movie, you could like re-edit this movie and put the scenes in different order, yes, and it would yeah. still make sense because well, yeah. none of it makes sense. It's like girl one, this ha- this shit happens to her. Yeah. Girl two, girl three. But really, it's just like they're all the same. Like lack of a character, it doesn't matter. Yeah, default like stereotypical teenage uh, B movie girl. That's all written by like a sixty-year-old man, Sylvia, yeah. whatever the fuck his, his, his name was. Yeah, like, teenage girls definitely get together and drink and watch <laughs> porn. That's their I know. What was that, 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 was that was just some <laughs> freak's attempt of a fantasy. That was so it? creepy. Yeah, that was weird. And then the thing with the alcoholic dad, it, it kind of like borderline. <laughs> what happened like to him, dark. by the way? Where did he go? Yeah, he prison. just he played a main part and then he just disappeared. <laughs> he went to prison, about... wasn't he? Because he attacked them in the house. I don't know if it's my hey, scene where's my mind, daughter? But like when he when he invited the, the the girl in, I was like, oh, what's what's going on? It, it almost it was it was like a sexual invitation. I was like, wait a minute, this is a bit weird. But I don't well, know. They, that was maybe just me. No, being no, cynical. I got that as well. I, I, play, I they played that really wrong. They they then they didn't explain any more of it. So it was just yeah, like, because oh, he was like, do you want do you want to come in? Like I wink, wink. <laughs> <laughs> to talk about my dead ringing. daughter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Please tell me more about how my daughter. Do you want my DD dead daughter? <laughs> Enough about her now. Enough, about... <laughs> <laughs> Enough about her. I don't know if you noticed, but there's no wife around here. Ooh, we could be oh, doing fuck, anything. Yeah, awfully lonely. <laughs> oh, <it's> so minging. <laughs> Talk about blowing your load in the first three seconds. Oh god. So you. <laughs> We're all dirty, dirty boys. Absolutely. Oh. <laughs> so usually, usually what we try and do, Jack, is we try and recount what happened in the movie <laughs> from start to finish. Oh, but I this feel like with this movie, it will be impossible. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, it we, is I mean, our, impossible. Do our best, right? Yeah, I mean, does I, someone who wants to give who wants to give that a start? I'll, I mean, I'll <laughs> give it a start because I just watched it as I came in. I thought I put my phone because I came in Go from work. Then. So there was like a couple of opening shots that were kind of interesting i was kind of like, okay 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 mm-hmm. i could this, this could be this could be something um and then obviously it went straight to the girls in the high school um 
Oh, what was the, the shitty conversation they were having? <laughs> they were they were talking about. I don't oh, know, guys were a killer or something. No, no, no. It was um. <laughs> oh, it was the the the. Oh, what's her name? Not Ren. <laughs> I don't know. They've got the same name. The, the, Kate, which yeah, Ren the same and Stimpy. Yeah. One of the brunettes. <laughs> <laughs> but... <laughs> Stimpy. <laughs> <laughs> one of the, one of the brunettes, and she one of the brunettes. Yeah, no, the oh, not Ren because Just... Ren is the big. Like I wanted to say, like there's one. a main one, but there sort is of there? wasn't. No, like... there wasn't. <laughs> I mean, I guess the ginger lass wasn't. She was barely in it, but there was like the black haired girl and the the other one, <laughs> Ren, Ren and Stumpy. So I, I, I don't know. <laughs> 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 what kind of name is Ren? W yeah, was... E uh, W sorry R N R E N. Yeah. Fuck, I can't even spell. Hey, Jack, you're well, welcome to the part of the episode where Dave has a stroke in the middle and he can't get a <laughs> sentence out. It's ridiculous. W R E N. Kylo what? Ren's a better Ren. Change my mind. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they could have a Ren off. <laughs> fight, fight to the Ren. So it now. opened with not Ren. And redhead girl that later disappeared. <laughs> Katie? Katie, yeah. that was it. I want to yeah. say, yeah, Katie. Okay. And so, it was just, you know, I watched it less than an hour ago, and I still can't I could, tell you what they said. I, I couldn't tell you what happened. Like, oh, so, my God. Oh my let God, me just get so this cute. straight. Well, yeah. I've got on my notes for the start bit of the film, right? I'll read it out to you. <clears throat> so I've got a eh, question mark, exclamation mark. Then I've got 8%. <laughs> and then I've got <laughs> ginger lass has been taken away by tree beard. Because it doesn't oh, show have... Slender Man, it just shows a bunch of trees and she's you, fucking you terrified so of them for no much. reason. Like, there's no reason. It doesn't show Slender Man, she's fucking terrified of trees. And then that's all I've got for the start. You've but missed I mean, out so was... much pointless conversation that doesn't come back, though. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember anything, anything before when they started to watch the video. It was just vapid, sort of dull conversation, like about boys and about living together I don't know, it was just oh, wait, a shit. let me tell wait. you what they said so the, so, so there's this shitty conversation shut up jerry i'm talking this... oh, okay. <laughs> go on no go on honestly go on that's cool oh really you're gonna do this <laughs> right so <laughs> i've also got not sure what is going on and then i've got slender man b&m bargain costume because the cgi was <laughs> so shit then creepy dad terrible. shit storyline and then I'm going to tell the, less, the rest later. Wait, is this all of your notes? No, this is just the, the, literally the intro, the, the notes for the okay. intro. I had to get it out of the way. because Oh, I, Creepy I just... Dad was the, the dad of the, like, one of the quote-unquote main girls who yeah. was like talking yeah. about the dinner table. That dad. Right? Right? No. no? What? what? No, no, no. <laughs> no, because they talked about, because not Katie... Not, Not Ren, Katie. the other one. Ah, she had a Stimpy, really weird Stimpy, name. Yeah. What was her name? I'm going to have to... This is driving me oh, up the clear. fucking wall. <laughs> they were, that's fucking forgettable, that's why. Oh, for fuck's sake, even on the plot, three girls decide to make contact. Firstly, there's four girls that decide to make contact. <laughs> this is just outrageous. <laughs> but by watching Ren, some girl shitty one. video. Hallie, Hallie, fuck. Hallie. There we go. Yeah. I don't remember that at all. Yeah, that was the brunette that wasn't uh, Ren. Jesus. Right. But who's Ren? I said the name. The, the, the edgier <laughs> brunette. <laughs> the one with like the eyeliner. Aye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Okay, the gothy Yeah, Ren one. was the one who tried to jump out the window at the end. Spoilers. But yeah, that, that was Ren, right? Spoilers yeah. for this movie. Uh, for this yeah. movie that you could watch in any order and it still doesn't make any fucking sense. <laughs> you could literally right. chop it up with a salami knife and just put it back together. <laughs> it wouldn't make a difference. Chop up the DVD with a salami knife. <laughs> Chop up your eyes because you're like, I'll never get this out of my just eyes. Cut them out, mate. Just fucking cut, cut them out. <laughs> That's a horrible anyway, one right there. Someone Hallie, trying to watch this. I'm literally going to have to keep these names in front of me. Hallie and Katie are like just having a shit conversation about nothing. Then it cuts to four of them having a conversation. And that conversation nothing. is, what age could you be and why? Right. Oh yes, do you yes, remember? I remember that? Yes, you know I this famous that, yeah. conversation that doesn't come back and has no relevance to anything that happens. In I the missed this. One of them is like, "Oh, I want to be like, I want to be the age I am now because everything's perfect." Because so oh. I guess, I guess it isn't. <laughs> it's the twist. But yeah, because yeah, you're like, in this film, you okay, stupid fucking loser. idiot. <laughs> 
Um, one of them says that I want to be 30 because it's sophisticated. I'm like, I'm wait a like minute. Oh, 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 hold, being... hold up. Yeah. Hold up. <laughs> In two years, I can see myself just declining. Who's yeah, going to get more sophisticated when they get to 30? What does that even mean? People who don't know any better. That's who. <laughs> that is. I think one yeah. of the answers was she wanted to be 10. I yeah. think it was the ginger last said 10, which I can understand. You know, the, the innocence and the, the sort of like no responsibilities of youth. I, I, I guess that makes sense. So maybe but then she, if was she was the most like, you know, one with the most sense. Yeah, maybe. That's She's why probably the, the one that goes first. missing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah Joey, man, you it... said exactly the same thing. <laughs> Did imply, though, that like she wasn't really into all that, like, a, a quote-unquote occult stuff. And oh, she was just sort of occult. dragged along with it. So I do, I do, I felt a little bit of sympathy for her. She did feel a little bit uh, vulnerable and a little bit daft, I guess. But I don't know. Some of the other girls, I, I like the, like you say, Ren and the what was the other one? I can't Hallie. Remember. Ali. I didn't really get. No, shit, Hallie really. with it with an H. Hallie. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, makes... the ginger one was came across as a little bit more. I guess she had some character. She was because she was just sort of going along with it. She, I don't know. It, it seemed like she was more uh sort of naive than the rest but yeah her main characteristic really was her character. red hair <laughs> that was, that's, that was literally the... it. that's literally it i mean that's how we're talking about them is their features yeah. isn't it it's either girl who goes missing or ginger hair girl that's the only yeah. two identifying <laughs> factors i love how long we've spent on the first three minutes of this movie <laughs> right and then and then they're walking along and then ooh, then they see some boys hubba mm, hubba oh god doesn't one and of them threaten them yet what? Uh, Doesn't he say, so, I'll, I'll have to kill you if I tell you or something? Ah, it, it, uh, he was doing I, that lame, oh, I could tell you. I don't remember I the context of that. I just remember so him shit. saying that, but it meant nothing. It, it was, was before, crap. because one of the girls said to him, oh, what are you doing tonight? Oh, it's a secret. But the secret was they were going to summon Slenderman. But then it turns oh, out later on that they didn't. So Usually in a film, <laughs> right, where you, you've got like a cast of like more than a couple of people, wouldn't you want to like focus on giving them some backstory and character and making them or like character. likable? Yeah, yeah, actual character. So you can you can identify with them or you at least know who they are and then you have some kind of sympathy if they go missing. But yeah, but Drew, that, that would the... be a good movie. That would <laughs> be sorry, yeah, sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Movie, of, you know, of course, that's yeah, written of course, by yeah. someone who knows what a movie is, not this <laughs> alien <laughs> who came down from whatever <laughs> planet they were on. And we're like, like who I was making it. He was just like painting like that's on like... a blank canvas with like with his with his eyes shut and just going. Oh, oh maybe like it, a we'll AI. This. Like an yeah. AI absorbed loads of information AI, AI about loads of film, like yeah. scary movies. And was like, ah, this is it. Try yeah. this. Like, it's just a mishmash. One percent capacity. Yeah. Guys, I don't even know if it's about on Wikipedia. The plot is There's four plot. paragraphs long. There's a plot. That's four it. paragraphs. Fucking yeah, hell. that's it. I don't know. I, it, it, yeah, that's it. But there's so much that happens, but also nothing happens. I've got an idea. So at the end of this, once we've dissected the whole film, why don't we each tell like a version of what we think the film should be? I've got a couple of ideas. I bet it's, a, I bet it's shit. All right, actually. Okay. Yeah, no, that was a really good idea. Thanks for sharing with the group. <laughs> no, anyway, I've actually got a good idea. <laughs> it's going to be way better. This piece of atrocity. But then there's a there's a whole conversation again. Again, another one of these conversations, and I only remembered it happened because I literally just watched it. Was then Hallie goes home after clear, obvious. I'm gonna go over to this boy's house later, <laughs> right? Do you know how she just like walks into him and like smile like. <laughs> It's just, ugh. Anyway, so she goes home, and then the dad's like, "Oh, so that the hard that hard training's been paying off. You you doing you doing well in in the sixteen hundred meter uh, run?" And she's like, "Yeah, one of my friends is pregnant, so she's dropping out." And then that's the conversation. That is that is it. That's all it is. And then Ren comes I to the door. Literally, don't remember that one bit. Yeah, because it doesn't. I remember that. Yeah, I remember that. It was crap, but I remember it. Like it was totally <laughs> pointless and irrelevant, but I, I remember it. It's like the 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 cancer storyline in the room, which just dissipates and just disappears <laughs> yeah. completely. Why? I have what? cancer. The and doctor no one told cares. So. <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> uh, right, I'm gonna read some notes. Okay, right. Uh, oh god, yeah. And then obviously after that, Ren comes over, and then they go to Katie's house with the alcoholic dad, and that's when they are then watching porn. <laughs> right yes what, and, and they're like oh it's pure it's like it's point of view porn and it's like yeah i, I know i'm not an amateur so, <laughs> so <laughs> it's, why why is sure that's so creepy like well they, like underage this, girls this writer watching uh, making this was getting off on that as he did that was like Fucking yeah they weird, were watching man. porn in the basement like you know he proper i'm gonna probably go imagine on. how a, how a fucking teenage girl would do it but yeah i'm very gonna disturbing. go on his um 
Wikipedia page. He's probably been arrested. Yeah, so what was the writer called? The director was Silvio or whatever. Sylvain right? White. Oh, Wikipedia's gone kaput. Right. What have I done? Bear with me. I'm this just curious great. to see what else they've done. What other like, accolades they've got. Or if this is the peak of their careers. Oh my god, he's been active since 1998. Active since when? 1998? Yes. Fucking hell. Oh my god, he's done, um... Oh my god, he's done episodes of CSI Miami and shit. Are they the ones that, like, delete themselves? That's a typical horror (laughs) director uh, sort of career path, isn't it? CSI to... (laughs) Shit horror film. (laughs) Yeah. CSI, you you sort of make your way in CSI, and then you make your way in fucking, you know, independent horror. And then death by suicide and gutter. Do you want to hear all the movies he's um, uh, directed? Yeah, a few. I'd love to. Well, there's only a few, so... Good. (laughs) 2002, (laughs) he directed a movie called Quiet... Never heard of it. Yeah, 2004. I'm guessing that says toi three, as in like French for three. Sounds great. Right. The Never heard colon, of <laughs> the escort. So <laughs> that's um, 2006. I always know what you did last summer. Is that like a sequel to I Know What I know You what Did, you did last, summer. last Summer? Something like that. That sounds like it would be too big for someone like this guy. I'm sure that wasn't just like a shitty spin-off or something. Maybe he didn't yeah. know about the other one and made like the exact same film, but then it just got like panned. How do Maybe you not should... know? How do you know? It's, should... like, it's like the guy who did the Blair Witch um, sequel. What? There's a Blair Witch 2. You not is seen it? Did that come out recently, though? No, no. It came out a while, and it is one of the worst things I have ever seen in my life. Like, it is... Like, Why this would someone looks, make a sequel to that? This looks fantastic next to it. So, I mean, the, the original Blair Witch was great, I think. Isn't I think it's it? fantastic. Yeah. In fact, that sort of pays into my idea of how this film should have been. Oh, so you're thinking found footage sort of thing. Perhaps. Yeah, and it should have just been in the woods. No high school shit and irrelevant oh, yeah. boys and characters. Yeah. You say just... you don't want an alcoholic dad subplot and all that other <laughs> weird fluff that isn't necessary <laughs> to anything. Just, it's just so much <laughs> insane, unnecessary shit in this film that no one should well, It care needs to about. be padded out to an hour and a half, Joe. You've got to put that budget somewhere, you know? But... You can't just have... Like an what, hour what and a half. Suspense? Of... Oh no, we'll blow our load and show the monster in the first like ten oh, that's minutes. Too, that's too complicated. Don't worry yeah, about that. Sorry, of course. Yeah. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> oh god. Right. So they they watched the Slender Man <clears throat> footage, which actually when they're watching that tape, I kind of liked it. I was kind of like, oh, is this going to be like a turn in the movie where it actually kind of gets good? Mm. No, I, I agree. Was... I thought that bit was all right. The what? Sorry. Yeah. I, I agree. I thought that bit was all right. I mean, literally just that thirty seconds of that video, like it was yeah. quite a because it wasn't a nice the film. Mix. <laughs> yeah, they were technically watching <laughs> it was the something. Only bit of <laughs> release and escape from this piece of shit. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then it's pretty bad from then on. I mean, it was pretty bad before then as well. But what there's... was the idea? Was the idea that that sort of video was some sort of virus? Because there's there's a there's a quote in the film that stuck with me a little bit. It was like it gets into your head like a computer virus. Oh, so, something like a Russian not a computer virus. virus. It, it affects your brain. It's like <laughs> it just doesn't make any. It, what this movie Watch definitely video affected that... my fucking brain. Like <laughs> yeah, it's it's like sort of a metaphor for the viewer, which is quite a lot. The whole movie is a metaphor for the viewer. Well, All you... these terrible things happening. Did you not remember going on Death Clock though as, as kids and, and getting scared about uh, dying on the day that Death Clock? I gave suppose you? it had a little bit of that. Uh, sort of torn away uh, there was a, there was a bit when they were on the computer and it kept like and i don't know if you've noticed like in the background there was this like green text and it was like sort of mundane computer code but i, I don't really know like what was that what was all that about why was the code there why was there like uh, was it like a, a chat site was it a vi- was it a site to well, share videos or was, or was it just like a generic sort of like mix of just oh yes yeah, spooky virus spooky russian malware well, like it didn't really seem to make any sense what was did, that website did you not know that slender man studied in newcastle union did a master's in computer <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, that's it the was... answer. <laughs> <laughs> no, that means they like summoned it, doesn't it? Like this, it being Slenderman. Mm, so such a shit. So everyone who goes on off. that website and watches that video summons Slenderman. Yeah, no, but that the, the, everything in the film happens to them in that order. So yeah, uh, does it? Does it? Yeah. Did you have to slow that bit down and watch that? Like you mean like in that video that they watched? No, no, I was taking the piss. I meant like us. Like oh, right, 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 right. I thought you meant that video that they watched everything. Like, that was the whole film. Oh, oh bullet dodge. We're about to give this movie some credit. I'm glad we got out of the way. Good Lord. Oh, gosh. This is a lot to get through. I'm, I'm into right, this. Okay. We're, we're like 10 minutes into this movie. This is ridiculous. This is fantastic. This is great. Then they go on that really shit field trip 
Where are they going? They go to a graveyard. Wait a minute, I, I don't they get off the... I've literally just watched this movie and I don't remember that. Bit. Do you remember that this... bit, Joey? I, I don't remember what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, you do, because that's when Katie goes missing. What? Oh. I'm glad oh, we don't oh, see anything. Yeah. Where the end why, the why, why a... in the medium of film where you can show something, would you not show something like that? Specifically when it's about Slender Man taking someone's life. Why would you not show that? They just so show her weird. like panicking and then pictures of trees. And then that's it. She's just gone. Then it's like the, the rest of it is like cameras on the rest of the school kids just being bored of shit. And then it's like, oh, Katie's missing. Move maybe, on. Maybe the that's actor's it. agent pulled her out of the film because they knew it was going to be a, like a, a fucking mess. So that's why she actually disappeared. Because there's no Slender Man in that bit where she well, disappeared. Well, in terms of the actresses, I only... I don't know if you've recognised any of them, but there was... No. Is it Ren? The, the, yeah, Ren. I'm sure I've, I've seen her. I was trying to work out why I'd seen her in, but there was this... Uh, uh, I think it was called The Act. I don't know if you've heard of it. It was like about... It was a story about this like disabled girl. It was a real-life story. Like She wasn't actually disabled. She didn't actually have any problems with her, but her mum was sort of like, like manipulating her and pre- making out to the world that she was... Like in a wheelchair and had oh, cancer shit. and everything else. Jack, to, you're like... absolutely right. That's exactly who it is. Is oh, that who, is shit, that who I it is? I, thought I, I, I knew I recognised. And she was fantastic in that. And I remember watching that um, with my girlfriend about six months ago. It was it was fantastic. And I'd never seen her in anything else. And she played that really well. I was, you know, I just thought, like, you know, I thought the acting was fucking awful. But you know, I, I still think they could probably do a lot better than this. I, I feel like the material was a lot to, you know, like it was well, difficult wasn't to a work script. with them. Well, yeah, <laughs> but I, I feel like even though the acting was bad, uh, I feel like you know they, they they they're probably capable of a lot more. Basically, I've certainly seen her in decent things like that. But, her yeah. um, filmography is absolutely outrageous in a really good way. Oh, really? She's in the Dark Knight Rises. Oh, so she's in a fair few things. Yeah, she's obviously she's obviously pretty. Why the fuck would she, she stoop so? She low? plays girl in <laughs> shop one, doesn't she? In Dark Knight Rises? No, she plays a young Talia Al Ghul. Oh, no, actually, yeah. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. I mean, she's in, like, Independence Day Resurgence. Yeah, so she's pretty... I mean, she seems well, fairly young as well. Yeah, she's, she's obviously got, got a big sort of career ahead yeah. of her, so... I don't know, she needs to be careful. Avoid, like, fucking shit shows like this. Just hope no one sees that film. <laughs> and hopes no one criticises And on we're now doing a we podcast do. to make people, like... <laughs> we're giving a <her> publicity. <laughs> yeah. Who's the real losers, eh? It's still her. <laughs> Not the three lads on the Saturday night talking about it. <laughs> I'm blaming the lockdown for the fact I'm not out, all right? I mean... Fair enough. Yeah, yeah, sure. lockdown. Yeah, no. right, yeah. I definitely <laughs> wouldn't be doing this anyway. And a lack of friends. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, God. Right. Let's Katie not go down missing. that path. And then <laughs> Katie goes missing, and then just... What happens? Someone right, tell I'm, me what happens I'm going to have to look that. through There's my notes here where, again, where because Katie's I don't remember. Dad Turns up at the house. Oh, yeah, well, but that, yeah, he doesn't announce remember, himself. Yeah. So it makes you think it's Slenderman, but for some reason he's silent, even though the kids are shouting and saying, Ah, oh, what's going on? And he's just what like, was his aim silent. There? I don't know. What was he trying to do? Was it just like, drunk sort of dad? In... Or was it just Well, like... he came into the room and he was like screaming and he grabbed her, but he wasn't really like, Was he trying to hurt her? Was he trying to rape her? I don't well, really. What was, his, what was his end game there? He was trying to drunk. That's what he was. Right, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Using that DD. Here's, that here's one again. thing I really didn't get, and I really thought it ruined it. Other than, I mean, lots of things really ruined it. But the the talking to the girl online, the Alley Cat ninety three. Oh yeah. I was like, what? So Slenderman works through an online chat? Is that it's, what was, the, it's like, was that Slenderman though? Was that definitely confirmed to be Slenderman, or was well, that just some weird person who was sort of involved with it, but maybe didn't watch the video but knew about it? Maybe I don't think that was really confirmed one way or other, was no it? Idea. Either way, it's fucking stupid. It's a shit. Story. <laughs> Either way, it makes zero fucking sense. And I and I wrote down. I thought it would be really funny if that Slenderman just wanted friends. So he, oh, he so they're the enemies. I'll, He's the good guy. Yeah. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. He's just trying to because he's like, oh, Ali, Ali, cat, I need help getting friends. And she's like, oh, I'll, 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 I'll go on like a, a chat room, and we'll send out a video, and you'll, you'll have loads of friends, and they'll come with you. And then, <laughs> and the girl's like, no, you're gross. She's tall and skinny. No, no, that would been better. <laughs> uh, oh, what else have I got? Uh, da, da. Oh, it's again. Again, is this thing? I mean, I know this is a creepy pasta, 
but it was a game as well. And yeah. I bloody loved and was terrified of the game the, was that little terrifying. game. The, I think the it lends pages. itself well to a game though, doesn't it? Like, yeah. you know, it's not that difficult to make a sort of an, a good experience with that. Uh, I mean, the game itself, when you look at it, it's not really, that, it's, there's not much to it, is there? It's just, no. I mean, at least from when I played it, you were just going around collecting notes in a, in a forest and stuff and you were effectively running away from this slender man. But you know, there wasn't really, there wasn't much to it. It was more just like, Oh, it's creepy sort of thing. It wasn't, and it was an indie game as well. Right? Did only one guy make it, or was only, there only one guy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, into, you know, it's it's just it just seems like they're sort of beating a dead horse. Like, oh, we've done a game, we've done this, we can make a fucking movie out of it now. It's like it doesn't it doesn't need to have a movie made out of it. It was a creepy sort of you know daft little story told over the internet, but it just seemed unnecessary to milk it this far. Like, it's it is creepy, it, 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 and it's sort of. You know, it's most basic thing, but you know, stretching out over one and a half, one and a half hours, I just feel like it sort of revealed why it was unnecessary. There wasn't there wasn't any any substance to this at all. No. Uh, yeah. Like you say, it was just you know, girl one gets scared, has her experience. Girl two gets scared, has her experience, and they're all slowly losing their minds. But there's not really, like Joy, you said, there's no suspense. There's no the girls are all the same. You could <laughs> you could splice the scenes in different orders. It wouldn't really make a difference. Um, so it's yeah, all right. I just it's just a waste of time. It's just it's always this thing because because <laughs> I really hate that when something's like successful, automatically mm. they think oh we can adapt this to other mediums, and I'm like mm. can we stop this? Like the reason it's good is because it made use of the medium. So like mm. Slender Man worked as a game because it made use of the characteristics of the medium of a video game to make it more scary. No, I agree. I it's agree. like, um, because there's the Last of Us TV show coming out, right? Mm. And I'm kind of like, oh, don't touch it, because Last of Us is such a great game. You know, it's such a great experience. It's like, how, you're not even going to come close to, like, mm. what it was like in the game. Like, no, wh- I... wh- how are you going to adapt that? Like, th- th- it doesn't work. Like, the the, the medium help the story do you know what no, i mean I, I agree i mean I, all i would say is I'd, I'd like to be pleasantly surprised you know never know with, with the right amount of talent money effort care put into it i'm sure it could be something good but like you know i think i think this was always destined to fail um oh yeah you know it, I, I, don't, I, I don't you know at least something like the last of us i feel like it's easier to get more passionate about it i feel like the people making it will want to make you know want to make it as good as as possible will want to do as good of a job as possible over the people making slender man which i feel is you know it just came across as like a bit of a cash grab yeah uh, ultimately i mean if if you if you made this and then you got an offer and someone wants to buy the rights and they want to make a film you wouldn't vet them would you just say yes but if you'd like you've made last of us you're already a rich company anyway you'd want to get it vetted by someone who but, it was amazing i mean think know? of all the love and care that went into crafting the last of us years and years yeah, of, yeah. you know countless hours of development of story art programming whereas slender man was just a throwaway post most likely on a fucking internet forum you know what i mean like it's it's uh, I, I know it has a bit of a cult following but i think ultimately it just lent itself to being more of a cash grab and more of a you know like less, less, less you know Maybe if it had a bigger budget and a, a bit more effort went into it, it could have been something better. But this just had rushed and lack of consideration written all over it. I think, mm. unless you disagree, <laughs> I no. don't think you do though. Absolutely, no, do not disagree. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just the the kind of beauty behind the creepy pastas and and that little game is that we didn't know anything. The the context mm. was yeah. there was no context. And that's these what, things yeah. always came out of vacuum, and you were just don't oh try to God, explain like, stuff that can't be explained. Just, just make it yeah, creepy. 100%. Leave the suspense in the viewers' eyes so they they think about it and they're like, whoa, what? Don't just say. That oh. was another thing that <sighs> pissed me off that, that you reminded me. Uh, there was a part where, and I'm skipping ahead a little bit now, but does it matter? It's all the same fucking no, shit. No, it doesn't matter. <laughs> um, there was a part where it really fucking pissed me off. I, I can't remember the exact book that Ren picked up. It was it looked like some sort of scientific book. It had like a like an image that you normally see like a, a, a oh yeah this, yeah this like what gravity would look like or space and gravity. And it was like, I, I, why would the, it's just kind of hilarious that there'd be this book in a in a school library, wherever the fuck it was, that would be like, <laughs> yeah, this explains this very specific instance of Slenderman. Like, just there it is. Like, it scientifically explains it. Like, what a load of horseshit, man. That just that just pissed me right off. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I love the idea of you, Jack, just sitting there watching a movie 
and then that's the bit where you crack that's the bit like none of the the, not the hour 10 minutes that came before it but that was the moment where you were like oh come on ridiculous yeah there was a lot of moments like that i'm sure but that was that really peeved me off and there was a moment as well which i kind of love and well so no i i mostly hate it so remember when they're in the woods and they're putting the blindfolds on and they're trying to get him to appear. Oh, and that stupid idiot takes her blindfold off. Oh, literally. Don't take your blindfold off. Oh, does it like straight away, seconds. instantly. And it's like this weird thing of like horror movies, some really shit movies, and actually a lot of good horror movies, rely on people doing really dumb things, yeah, like frequently, true. isn't it? Like it just, it, you would not behave that way. No, like if you knew Slenderman true. was real, would you willingly go out in the middle of the forest and then blindfold yourself uh, in, an no. attempt, in, in an attempt to uh, <laughs> fucking uh, get him to appear? Like, you wouldn't. <laughs> like, it's just nonsense. It's like, these people don't behave. Like, no, well, then again, like, in movies, no one behaves like real people, do they? No, but I mean, these people aren't believable as human beings anyway. They're acting so shit. I don't think that's their fault because like we've said, some of them have a proven track record. Well, they yeah, can't material, uh, it's, you know, we've seen it with Star Wars, uh, Joey, you know, Hayden Christensen can only work so much. You know what? I back George it. George Lucas's quote unquote magic. Yeah. Magic. Uh, <laughs> I, 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 I'm, I'm on Hayden's side, you know, I believe he's better than Well, the, yeah, I mean, the dialogue, I mean, we're moving on to Star Wars, but the dialogue in Star Wars is fucking atrocious. I think yeah, the oh, dialogue so and the acting in this is atrocious. Like we, like Dave said, the act, you know, the actors or actresses have a proven track record, at least some of them. Um, and mm. I don't think they had enough to prove themselves with. You know, one one bad apple doesn't ruin the bunch, or maybe it does, I don't know. But isn't, isn't that the weird thing? Like, if you're a bad director, you'll likely still continue to work in Hollywood, but if you're a, an actor and you're in one bad movie because of a terrible director, you might never work again. Nope. Mm. I it's suppose it depends crazy. if you're already like established, you know, like if you're like one of the big actors already, it doesn't really matter. Um, yeah, it's then again, if you're an upcoming one. Exactly, but like if you're an upcoming one, I would still consider most of these girls up and coming. Um, you know, if they do a string of these terrible movies, it certainly hurts them, I would say. Yeah. Unless they do like the Christopher Walken things, who does like anything. You yeah, heard Chris about this? Walken just, he just doesn't give a shit. Oh, he doesn't, he doesn't, <laughs> but it's kind of cool, isn't it? But then again, he no, is, is so super established, like it's just ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, Chris Walken's I'm awesome. Christopher Walken. Um, I, uh, I, have an, I have a note here. Um, simply says, I'm so bored, I want to cry. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Do you remember what part of the movie you wrote that down? Or does it not really or was matter? Was that for the whole thing? I, I think I paused it for about 20 <laughs> minutes three times. It took me so, so You know long. what? I think the biggest suspense I had during the movie was like, I think I had maybe one or two bathroom breaks and I paused it and the suspense of like, how much longer is left of this movie <laughs> seeing the like bar was probably the most suspense I had. Oh, I've only got 40 minutes left. Thank <laughs> Christ. Oh, thank God. But like, it's like working the end what? of a shift, isn't it? That's what it felt like. It is like, oh, I thought I had an hour left. There's only 45 <laughs> minutes. Thank the Lord. See, I love I love that we're like, oh, this is a shit movie. And oh, how could these people put together this terrible movie? We willingly sat through this and got to the end so we can then talk about it for at like an hour. Yeah. So what does that say about us and the industry? Uh, we're about? demented. <laughs> we're the real winners. That's what I think. <laughs> so... I've got on my notes here, I've got so fucking dark, need uh, back oh, it's local, so dark. D- local dimming. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's really dark, couldn't see anything, so I literally switched well, wait a minute, off. Joe, for, like, you watched it on minutes. an OLED, right? Yeah, that, this is why I said that. I knew you were going to bring it yeah, up. Yeah, sure. <laughs> and then you're going to bring it watched TV. it on a, Yeah, yeah, yeah. I watched it on a 65 inch full oh, array local dimming TV, and it was, the picture quality was good. That's I'll why I brought that, that up. Just so you can bring it up. So what you're saying is, if then. you want to enjoy Slender Man you know, in all of its graphic glory, you have to buy what was it? What TV? It's a, so it's a full array local dimming, three and a half grand TV. Set. Oh, yeah. it wasn't three and a half grand. So you have to take it? a loan out to buy a TV to watch a movie <laughs> that you're ultimately Just not going to watch gonna a enjoy. Shit film. Yeah, yeah, and, ah. and ultimately you'll still hate it, but it will look a little bit better while you. <laughs> then hate you it. can't get a return. Then you're in debt, and then your kids stop. <laughs> Oh wow! So oh, but then dark. you can watch the Slender tape in the movie. You can put that on your really cool TV, and then Slender Man will get you, and he'll well, take that's... he'll take over the payments. He's like, don't worry about it. Oh, what I've a good guy! It. He's such Imagine. a nice guy. He, he is wearing a suit after all. You can trust people in suits. That, that's another thing that bothers me. Again, this is just down to the, the sort of <laughs> subreddit in general. Why? 
or the porcelain gentleman. Why does he wear a suit? What's no, that about? Why understand. he's got like he's got no face. He's got like twenty million arms, but he still puts on a suit. Yeah. It's like what's why why you know it's like a weird it horse must... measure. Like either be human or don't. It must be so <laughs> hard to put on a suit being blind as well. Like maybe it just guys. Make any have sense. you never heard of the phrase "dress for the job you want"? You know? Yes. <laughs> Wait a minute. Do you think he's stealing well, these like, people he so he can for? he can put on another suit? Because he can't do it himself. Who's he trying to impress? Is he trying to be creepy? Like, if I kill everyone, that? it'll open up the job market. <laughs> <laughs> That's what this. Oh my, we've cracked it, lads. <laughs> Capitalism unmasked. Um, I've written here. I love the idea. There was there was several moments where it was like a video call, and it was like off the house, and they're like, "Oh my god, who is it?" They look outside, no one there. It's like I love the idea that Slenderman has a smartphone. Of course. And I mean, because that's the only way, right? Like, Probably how else iPhone. would he be able to, to call them? But, but, oh, God, just ridiculous. Trini has an iPhone. Well, maybe he's not. I can't really remember much of that. You see, was there a part where he was, like, they were looking on the laptop, or whatever, and they could see Slender Man, like, filming them or something? Is that what you say? I can't really. No, can't so, like, there'd be, like, individual moments where, like, the character who, whatever, pick one of the four nothing girls and they would get like a video call coming through and they'd answer it first of I all don't remember. i don't remember that yeah what the fuck? it happened like two three times i don't remember oh that. god maybe i just put it away in my memory somewhere forgot about it so it's just back to that thing like alley cats oh you know just just video call them in the middle of the night like girls love surprises you know like that's sort of <laughs> <laughs> they, they love video <laughs> video chats in the middle of the night you know where where did it go after the alcoholic dad scene i remember them watching a uh, like they got the they got katie's laptop right and then they started looking at like that's how they found out about alley cat and everything else but i can't again it sort of blurs away from that i know ren sort of went down this trail of becoming more more and more obsessed but I, again i can't really remember that much specifically literally just watched I don't it know, I, Dave, I, I if you remember either i really really do not have a fucking clue <laughs> as to what happened my notes don't I, even help no they don't they don't because it's it clearly just like oh i haven't paid attention for like five minutes and now i don't know <laughs> what's going on like and my, it, uh, my next note from that point just says bell tolls is similar to when me and jack got absolutely off our tits and then heard them at two in the morning <laughs> when we were walking around a cemetery in low fell so <laughs> yeah we heard those exact bell tolls but like we were off our tits so Maybe we're in the film or something. I don't Maybe know. you have to be off your tits to watch this movie. That would certainly make it more enjoyable. Maybe we should like, do that. Or at least possible. Mm. It would, wouldn't it? Definitely. Um, I always thought the thing with Slender Man, like, I think you kind of mentioned this before, Jack, was like, just have it set in the forest. Because I thought the idea of Slender Man, like, his shape was that it was hard to discern between yeah, trees, the trees and branches. But if you're at home... Yeah, you're going to notice like, a big bloke in a suit with no face. Well, there was a point where he was walking through the library, which just came across as comical to me. Yeah, like, it was he was so just—he was tra- chasing Ren and Stimpy through the library, and it was just <laughs> like, this just—this seems like a joke. <laughs> just... Like, he, sh- he seems smaller as well. Like, I, I don't know. Like you say, it's forest is his natural habitat. It just—it seemed a bit daft to have <laughs> him come natural out, you know? habitat. All right, David. Yeah, it seemed a bit daft. <laughs> <laughs> Here we have—he's <laughs> feeding on the souls of the young. <laughs> What was the bit where she was pregnant with uh, with Slenderman's kid? What was going on there? Exactly. That, that, that's all it was. It was just a little bollocks, Joey. And it was then... a scary, like, oh, what can we do to make this scene sort of visceral? How... Oh, we'll make tentacles come out of our stomach. How okay, shit. Do you me- sign it off. Do you remember the scream that she did? The shit, like, stereotypical, generic shit scream? It was just... Uh, maybe. There you go. You forget about it because it's so <laughs> shit. It was so un scary, like, oh, gosh. But then it was her sister. It was Hallie's sister that then got ill. How did she catch COVID or something? What wait, was, ha- was Hallie not the name she of the? Sc- wait, ha- Hallie was the dark-haired girl, right? And then I si- was her the sister not one. called Hallie? You say the main one. I think Ren has a bigger claim to be the ma- the quote-unquote main one. I think Slenderman is because he's clearly on the door and he's even to though find Ren a job. and Hallie are basically the same character. They even looked the same. I think at one point I was like, "Is that Ren? Is that?" Like, I, I don't fuck. It. it didn't matter ultimately. Make up your mind, but yeah, was it was Hallie? No, Hallie's younger sister's called Lizzie. So Lizzie was the one oh, who. Lizzie? Was in the mental institute at the end, and she was screaming. And she woke up or whatever. Is that is that the little girl? that was her sister? No, right? it was just the hospital, wasn't it? Was it? Oh, well, whatever. It was but she was like, like Slender Man was trying to take her I mean, through. But then Alley. she sacrificed herself so she could. Oh yeah, I tell you survive. what, that that I did. I fucking hated that. Not hated it like 
oh, I didn't like it. It like, was like creepy. The idea of like getting stuck in a tree. Ugh. Yeah, that was that was unsettling. I mean, no one no one wants that, right? <laughs> no one wants to be in a tree for the rest of eternity. <laughs> oh, yeah. and I know everyone asked, but Kevin Chapman played Mr. Jensen, Katie's alcoholic father. And that's Kevin all it says. Chapman. Who's Kevin Chapman? Right, we've got to look up him on my IMBD. We've got to search that shit up. Kevin Filmography. Let's see if he's been anything good. So while you're looking for oh that, I just God. want to reference the scene. He was in Chapman. Mystic River. What's that? A really awful movie. Oh, okay. I, I say who, awful. I'm not saying. Who am I thinking? I'm thinking of Mark David Chapman, the guy who killed John Lennon. Kevin. Why Chapman. would he be in this <laughs> film? Why? I mean, if you honestly, if you That's look at them, if you get them up on Google Images, they don't look totally dissimilar. They've got some features that look. They I mean, look completely you know, different. <laughs> they don't look that. Di- I mean, obviously, he's is he? He's still alive as well. Maybe they let him out of jail for a bit, and this was oh, just, you know. Oh yeah, yeah, Mark David Chapman. You, Evidence you killed John right. Lennon, but uh, do you want to be in Slenderman? <laughs> Yeah, I sure, sure, <laughs> sure. mate. Do you want to play an alcoholic? Yeah. Did I tell you about the ah, fact to kill John ah, Lennon? Guys, this is interesting. This guy's filmography, or tell, like what, what he's been in in television. He's been in CSI as well. Maybe there's like a weird like oh. sort of sub network of people who've been in like detective TV shows and whatnot. And they all make their way into horrors. I mean, programs like sh- uh, <laughs> Shit SI. I was about to say CSI. <laughs> nice. they, they have to. They have to make like a gazillion episodes. Have you know they they have like oh season one. Yeah, we filmed 120 episodes. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So they just. Have to get everyone they were just like get every actor we have through that agency and just get them in a role <laughs> there's going to be some insane. trap in the week isn't there that's what it's looking like honestly who did he play in csi uh bartender. It says see bartender. there we go yeah, yeah. Well, so... bartender that's so depressing see i oh would God. love to be in a movie as like bartender or security guard number three Blow. or like yeah <laughs> Blow Blow one <laughs> 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 I mean, if you look at the guy's roles, it's it's Dave, uh, bartender, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Billy Brogan, a chef, oh no, chief, sorry, <laughs> cop. I mean, it just it's all like sort of like generic, sort of like like NPC roles, like yeah. you know, sort of bystanders. I, lo- I love his character name in uh, NYPD Blue, Brad Riggs. Brad Riggs. Oh the episode God. is called "Frickin' Fraker." <laughs> <laughs> this, that sounds like a Beyond Belief, like fact of fiction episode. I would like to know, like, I mean, how how comfortable are these sort of like? I mean, would you would you even call these people like D actors? Are they are they A you know, E stars like Z? Like, do they make a decent living? Do they? Is it like paycheck to paycheck? I, what do you reckon I, he's doing right now? I would right like now? to know. Well, yeah, I'm just interested. Like, he's you know, the vast majority scraps. of actors are just like these sort of like you know bystander <laughs> roles. And I'd like to know what you know what what sort of livelihood they make. I'm assuming sure it's not terrible, but it can't be great, right? I mean, may- I maybe it's just like they have like part-time jobs when they can. I-, I usually think that they're with someone who can financially support them, mm. so they kind of have like the kind of luxury, which is not maybe... I'm not we're not a criticism by any by any stretch. You know, maybe that's just the situation. You know, if if you get or a... maybe he is a bartender and they just bring him in, <laughs> they just bring them in as all these like sort of bystander roles. Like, like if you're a bystander, if you're an extra or something, you usually get like a flat rate of like 100 quid to 150 quid. But if you get like a what's called a walk-on part where you get like a specific mm. action or if you get like a line you get paid like a lot more it's like usually either double or like three times amount but then if you have like a bunch of lines or like if you're in two episodes and you speak you get quite a bit of money so if they're in it for like a whole series and they, they have like a couple of di- little parts they're probably going to be on like quite a, a nice wage so are you saying kevin chapman's loaded basically oh 100 <laughs> percent billionaire <laughs> kevin chapman i'm rolling in it <laughs> He's just his oh, feces in the garden. Man money. His wife's trying to drag him back in from having a mental breakdown. <laughs> okay, here, here's another one because I just went on to the actor that actually did Slenderman. Okay. So what? he's a guy called Javier Lopez. Which oh, is, I've heard of him. Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> he gets around. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell has he been in? <laughs> he's video calling people like Slender oh, Man. I'm sick of him. Right, he's hey, in everything let's he's invite him just to the outside episode. your house. <laughs> Retroactively. <laughs> yes. Joey, what was the name of the guy in Land of the Dead? Uh, Mulligan. We to invite. Yeah, what was the character? <laughs> Jim McKee. That That's was it. it. Yeah, we need to get him back for the next episode. Chat, we did an episode last week of a movie called Land of the Dead. Have you ever heard of it? I have. It's I a George A. Oh, Romero so... one from like 2005. <laughs> It's, it's so good. So... It's like, oh, I have car- seen that. I have seen that. That's where there's the, the zombie who's like, he sort of becomes a little yeah, bit smart yeah, and yeah, he works yeah. the gun and stuff. Yes, that's, that is a great movie. It's so <laughs> good. It's so good. 
uh, but there was a character in it called Mulligan, and it's like <laughs> it's the worst Irish accent. Oh, like <laughs> top of the morning to you. <laughs> like it's so drinking whiskey ridiculous. as well. There's a bit of famine oh, behind him. Potatoes. And he turns up twice in the movie. <laughs> he's he's once at the start to go. Oh, what are you doing here? And then at the end, he goes. Oh, it was a great job you did. Like it was just that's it. It's that's worse. all it's he's so got. racist. So and good, he's just such a know. shit like actor slash character. What but kind of a name is Mulligan? Don't know. It's like the, the worst. Hell? But we want to invite him on an episode because I think he would say yes. He's probably isn't so that a term desperate for like. That's a term in card games, isn't it? Like when you sort of like reset a hand, it's like you, you call it a Mulligan. Yep. Do you really? Yeah, I'm sure that's so. It's a racist I'm... name because he's Irish, so he loves gambling. Is that yeah. what it is? Gosh, that Maybe. film's awful. I mean, I'm googling it now. Apparently, it also means a stew made from from odds that's and ends it. of food. He's exactly so that. That's... He's that like a stew of shit sense. actors and shit characters just put together. Oh, that's what he is. That's, uh... Anyway, Slenderman. Javier yes. ah, Lopez, ah. right? So he's a yeah. Spanish, a Spanish actor born with Marfan. So who was Javier? He was Slenderman. He was Slenderman. So he he has Marfan syndrome. How's that? Which is a disorder that affects connective tissue. So they right. have like elongated arms oh, and shit. legs and shit. But he actually has a career for being monster, a monster in monster movies. Wow. So he's in um, he's in Wreck. You know, you know that oh, Spanish like that. one. He's in all three of them. Wait, what's going on? What's that? <laughs> well, in general, or in the in this podcast. Well, <laughs> I can't hear Dave unless is he speaking? No, I'm speaking now. Yeah. No, I can't I've suddenly just not been able to hear Dave. Yeah. Weird. That's a bit odd. Cool. Well thank you for interrupting. Uh but anyway, I'll continue. No, I'll continue. Let me disconnect and come back in again. Right. Okay. Pause this for two seconds. Can you not hear me at all? Uh, Jack's just disconnected and he's gonna join back in. I can hear you, mate. Hello, hello. Dave, can you hear me? I can hear you now. I couldn't I... hear you there, Dave, for a second. Okay, we're back. There. That's fucking weird. Right, that was like fifty one anyway. minutes in. Cool. Did you guys didn't stop recording? Did you? No. 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 I've got still because still I can just yeah. edit this out. Cool. Um. So he's in um Rec One, Two, and Three, which is that Spanish. They're really good. Um. They are I, very good movies. I really like them. Really like them. I can't um, remember much about them. I have seen them, but I remember liking them. Yeah. Um. He plays, you know, the tall, skinny girl that's in it. The monster uh, at the end. Uh, again, I can't remember. So, uh, first one, they end up in this dark room, and there's this weird monster. Anyway, he plays that. Um, oh, he's okay. in, he's in Mama. Oh yeah, Mama. That's good film. He's in. Um, the oh, Conjuring that's the one with Jamie two. Lannister in the yeah. guy from Game of Thrones. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he's in the Mummy from 2017. Ah. Oh wow. <laughs> oh my god, he's the hobo in it. Oh, f- wait, which it? The new one or the old one? The new one. Oh, fucking hell. The new one. So where that kid... Oh, what's the oh. character's name? Where he's outside the spooky house and the, it's and like he, the leper. It's disgusting. That's the, yeah. yeah, the guy's like falling to pit, like to pieces and everything. He's just like yeah. all melting. It's grotesque. Yeah, that one. <laughs> yeah, he's that, he's that, he, that's him. Fucking hell. He then plays Slenderman. Interesting. See, it's that's weird that he's sort of like... He's been typecast as like a sort of... You know, like a, a little bit like who's the guy who plays Gollum? Andy Circus. Yeah. He plays all these like CGI characters. So he's playing like horror monsters and stuff. That's quite yeah. a weird sort of career path. But I mean, well, fair f- dues. Fuck it. Find your niche. Then no one else is going to be able to do it. Absolutely. Absolutely. I've got nothing to say other than that. That was just. Re- <laughs> what do you mean about the film? Or... <laughs> no, just it. Well, it's interesting. So it's not about the movie, it's more about him. So the next on my uh, notes um, is about when I I think it's Hallie. She's in the um, what do they call it? the library, and Slenderman's there. And then for some reason, she has like an egg carton face because his face like transfers <laughs> onto her. And then all of a sudden, it's just not there That's anymore. In. Oh yes, I remember. That. It might not yes. even be her; it might be someone else. I can't remember. I literally. I think don't. it was Ren. What was that? Not Ren in the library. No, that's Hallie. That's Shit. Definitely... It was oh, one of them. Wait. And that happened. No, Ren in the library had an egg carton face. I remember that. Right, okay, that happened. <laughs> egg carton face. And then there's a bit, there's a bit right. So she um goes around that lad's house and starts kissing him, which is a bit uncomfortable to watch. And then in, anyway, she starts having oh, a no. proper panic attack and freaking out because he like <laughs> he glitches through time and stuff. And then <laughs> he watches the video, and then she goes to school the next day, and then she looks at him, and for some reason, like if you've had like a serious injury or like you've you've like 
done something to your arms. Like, you're not going to roll up your sleeves and have them on display. Like, the teacher would notice, your parents would notice. But yet, his arms are fully rolled up so she can see these massive marks on his arms. And he's, like, tapping away. And she looks at him and, like, asks if he's okay. And he just looks really scared. And uh, to be honest, I can't remember if he's in it anymore of the film because I, I kind of blanked out. But I don't think he but is. But that, that's no, how explained. That... That scene with her and him when like they're sort of getting it on, that was genuinely quite disturbing. When she when he was sort of like moving rapidly yeah. and his face was all going strange yeah, and it was, it was all weird. going a bit chaotic. That was probably the most disturbing part of the movie for me, purely from like just a visceral sort of yeah. raw what I'm seeing on screen. It had no substance or meaning to it. It was yeah. trash. But from a pure like this imagery on screen with my Sam Woofer on and everything else, Sam Woofer, Sam Woofer. Sam was uh, was was fucking terrifying but yeah that was for about like 20 seconds but if that wasn't a good film it would be the shit bit of a good film wouldn't it yeah but like that that bit did get me like you know it sent a a few shivers down my spine a little bit but i'll give it that so next on my notes i have she's like in the doctor's bit i think i've skipped quite ahead in the film but she sees that um lanky doctor and he kind of looks like Slenderman, and she's like freaking out looking at him. But then, oh, he's so tall! And then, he's like seven foot. Yeah, and I'm just like, imagine being that guy who like went, mate, you look like the fucking <laughs> yes, pedo monster with tentacles. <laughs> Do you want to be in a film and play the extra? And he's like, yeah, sure, mate. And then that's the doctor, and he has no words or lines in the film. He probably got paid fifty dollars for that like scene. And then that's I it. would love if that doctor was actually just two kids, you know, where they do that. Yes, in a trench coat. <laughs> I wonder if it's the actor you just mentioned before with that um, disease. Oh, shit. You know what? It, you know what? It prob- that makes loads of sense, doesn't, doesn't it? What, the guy who played Slenderman? Yeah. yeah. What, you think it's like a weird sort of cameo, in a sense? Yeah. Guess like maybe, it's his real maybe he got paid more for it. I'll have a look, see if he comes up as Doctor. I want to. F- he, he doesn't, but that <laughs> could be. <you. laughs> He'll probably have uh, his name in the credits or something, which I skipped. I didn't watch the credits. I got f- as far as where it said Joey. So you tell me you didn't see that after credit scene? Is it an after credit scene? <laughs> no, I, I didn't. I didn't watch. Was well, that real life? And it's I didn't, I didn't assume that. Own. <laughs> so I mean, we just skipped like the the sort of third act, but it, did we? Did, though? Does it matter? Is there a third act? Like, is there a third? Is there a second? Well, wait a minute. Can a anyone act? remember the third act? Uh, no. <laughs> oh yeah. I literally was... watched the movie two hours ago and I can't remember. <laughs> I can't remember what the fuck happened. It's all the happened. same, like tempo, all the same, like feeling, and all the same dynamic. The, all the, the same way thing that happened to Ren happened to the other one. So the, like, the two girls went missing in a sort of like quick, sort of generic fashion, and then it was like sort of a, a fair extended amount of time for Rain, and the same for the other one. But it wasn't really like distinguishable. It was the same shit, and then the, the ending was just, "Oh yeah, I'll become a tree, so you don't have to." <laughs> like, is that the meaning of the film? I I'll become a tree, so you don't have to. <laughs> I, I couldn't really tell you really what happened uh, after uh the bit when he was when they were sort of getting it on i can't remember between that and the end of the film i don't know what was going on but when did the Unless... library bit happen was that that was not... before that that was before because that was it. when it was focusing more on ren and stimpy before <laughs> it focused more on <laughs> on a uh, other other girl other generic crap vapid character um and she just sort of slowly went insane because remember there was that sort of uh, I mean, they were like they were meeting in the street, and I'm sure it was raining and it was dark and it was fairly atmospheric, and they were like they were sort of parting ways because the it was right before the day, it wasn't it? Because Hallie didn't believe in Ren, you know, saying she she thought she was just going crazy, and I think the next time they met up was when you know a significant amount of creepy stuff had happened to Hallie, and then they sort of got together in the in the room when she was about to commit suicide, and then I think that was pretty much the end, like the end act when they were. Uh, when she went to the woods and stuff so not other than like it was it was just like sort of padding in between like generic sort of weird creepy scenes like random sort of effects like being thrown at your face like fucking like trash bags just like here's some more special <laughs> effects here's some more shitty effects here's some more weird imagery it's like it didn't really have any like meaning behind it it was just just felt like it was being padded out that's why we're all struggling to remember it because it was meaningless yeah. Yeah, it was just kind of like <laughs> spectacle. It was just kind of like, oh, yeah, hey, CGI here's was a creepy shit thing. Anyway, Have like... another creepy thing. And then, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it, it, they... Has everyone got the spooks? Has everyone got the chili willies? <laughs> I guess we'll keep going with the chili willies. It's just, yeah, ridiculous. No suspense, no build up, no tension. 
no character development, no nothing. Just no. like crap after crap after crap. It's like flushing a big crap down the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> again and again. Again and again and again in <laughs> endless loop. Ground shit day. <laughs> and the smell never goes away. Never does. Uh, but I always thought as well, before watching this, this is how bad. I Before this, I was absolutely terrified of the idea of Slenderman. I don't know about you guys, but like oh, when, yeah, when I first played the game, God, it absolutely fucked me up for months. Months afterwards, I'd just be like, oh, oh. I mean, I wasn't like in the movie, like, oh, spooky. But I, it was... But like the game, like you say, it was it was tense. It had build up. You were mm. you felt immersed in it. It lent itself well to the medium, where you know, as we've just described with the movie, it was like here's some crap, here's some crap, here's some crap. <laughs> Everyone has crap. Just have it in your face. No, forget about tension. Forget about good writing. Silvio, whatever the fuck. It's just like yeah, just let's just throw some crap on the screen and, mm. and sort of get like some, some some cheap thrills. It's not even a thrill, is it? It's just sort of like decent imagery. Like you, you, I didn't feel scared at all. I didn't feel. Yeah. I didn't was, feel like was I was no, being like, free- threat. Yeah, yeah, like there was no like build up, no sort of creepy, sort of tense immersion in the in the sequences. It was all just like, you know, it, it, there was no there was no rhythm to it. Yeah. Like I said, the only there was only like maybe a handful of sequences like that bit when they were making out that disturbed me, but it certainly didn't scare me. It, it wasn't like a mm. you know like a build up to a dramatic moment or anything. It was just like weird it's this film's like <laughs> yeah. the equivalent of like drinking a diet red bull so like it's cheap it's nasty it's really bad <laughs> for you there's no build-up but it makes you feel really like sort of eh for a tiny bit and then it's over yeah. and it just does yeah. that thing that energy drinks do where instead of actually making you feel energized you just, so you just feel like a skeleton out. having a heart attack <laughs> yeah <laughs> you're like i'm not tired but my heart is like I'm, i'm not less tired but my heart is beating way faster than it was before <laughs> like that's it but it almost ah. made me think like the idea of Slender Man is inherently not scary anymore. That's yeah. how fucking bad it was. It was like yeah. when I actually think about, it, oh, this is not scary. Just don't go in the woods. Just don't watch the tape. <laughs> like it's not. Just don't go out. Like just don't. Just don't. You know, don't let him bait you. Yeah. Don't watch a shit video on a fucking stupid website and a virus goes into your brain. Which and definitely don't listen sense. to a shit podcast where three guys talk about. It <laughs> but then don't worry. There's a book in this specific library that'll explain everything. Of course, I want to find that, that book. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Has anyone got anything good to say about the movie? Is there uh, anything you liked? I mean, you said you liked the imagery and obviously some of the moments, like some of the spectacle in it was actually quite disturbing. Yeah, I mean, that's few and far between. I don't want to like leave that on like, you know, that that, that would be my leaving note on the film. It's like, that's a few, that's me being kind. Yeah, like, watch me majority. edit this. I'm going to edit this out of context. So <laughs> J- Jack's like... Just two minutes yeah. of me saying, ah, it was yeah. a few great bits. Yeah. <laughs> Which is what like they like to do for these reviews. Like you'll slate it for ninety nine percent, then they'll pick out like, oh, this was all right, and then they'll be like ten out of ten. Jack says this. It's, it's almost right. like when IGN reviews a game, and it's like this is a <laughs> game that was made, and I played it, and when I played it, I, it was a video game that functioned properly. It's like oh, I, tell you, I hate those reviews. Too much it's water, like, man. I'll too tell you water. one one good thing about it. It made me realize what a good horror movie is. So it put things in perspective. It was like this is so the pit abysmal shit dire miserable depressing crap utter <laughs> bollocks that you know oh that movie that i sort of slated i was maybe a little bit unfair on it like, that that horror movie is okay like obviously i'm just speaking generically but i think yeah that was that's probably my main takeaway of a positive point that it it was so shit it put other shit horror movies in perspective that maybe <laughs> and i was just okay yeah like i didn't think mama was particularly good but now i'm like i'd rather watch exactly mama, mama i was like eh, indifferent but now looking back i was like you know what that was something yeah yep. <laughs> i don't know what it was yeah. but it was something it was it wasn't this. i'd rather watch yeah, mama, it wasn't yeah. this what about you joe anything good that you thought you, came out of this you know movie? what often i can find something good to say about a lot of films but i actually can't think of one good thing to say about this <laughs> not one it's so shit there must be something joe I, I i'm really struggling um, was it not a single scene or a single line or a single moment that you thought, eh? <laughs> not not <laughs> literally right. not one. Jesus. Yeah, so I, I, it's, it's a good, zero it? out of ten for me. That's just a piece of shit. What about what about you, Dave? Anything good? Um, just the bit um, <laughs> where it wasn't the movie, where it was that they were watching the tape, <laughs> where they were watching the tape on the laptop. I was like, oh, this could actually be interesting. And then it went back into the movie. I went, oh, nah, fuck this. Actually, I retract my <laughs> statement. There's three good things about the film. <laughs> so before no. you put the film on 
<laughs> the middle bit where you just said oh, where it yeah. is in the film and then the fucking end and that's it <laughs> the end <laughs> yeah the credits were fantastic I don't like you guys the credits, credits. The credits. music was unbelievable I had like a dull <laughs> ache behind I had a dull ache behind my eyes when the movie was over I was like oh, what the fuck am I that sounds doing? like a serious condition <laughs> caused by a brain <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine if this movie was any longer? Can you no, if no, they, don't, 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 Oh, how? How would they possibly they just, do they that? Just, what would just, the next movie be? She gets out the tree? <laughs> filler. That's it, just filler. <laughs> it just turns into it's a soap. It's all build up. No, no Slender Man, just a just soap like, like Hollyoaks. <laughs> <laughs> With like a bigger budget. You know, you go on about Joy of like maybe some ideas to make the movie better. They could have maybe expanded on the lore a little bit. Like I say, lore. They could have maybe delved a bit deeper into, you know, exactly what. You know, leave a lot of the mystery there. But I just feel like there was so much... I don't know. Maybe there is untapped potential. I feel like if, if people put more care into this, they could have made something. Like, you know, I, I'm not claiming that I have the talent or the desire or whatever to do it. But no, I think I you know, should I... put your money where your mouth is. <laughs> my idea... I don't know where you're going to get the money from, but that's your yeah. fucking problem, all right? But my idea for the film would just literally be in the forest, and then it's a, you don't see the monster, but it's alluded to, and you, you you might see him like in the background a couple of times, but you, it never focuses on it. And so Blair Witch, basically, kind of Blair Witch, yeah, <laughs> or Jaws. Because Jaws is a really good example. Or Shrooms, of that. that film. Do you remember that one? I've never seen it's that, but I've only heard that it's utter garbage. It's <laughs> but <laughs> it... oh, you were being... I thought you were being serious. Like, oh, it was a great movie. No, no, it's shit. But it's better than this. I mean, even Hellboy. Really? Was better than I'm saying much, man. Silent Hill Revelations was better than this. Star Wars. This might be the worst movie I've seen all like all Fucking... year. Right. Yeah, of, of this hey, year. Hey, Jerry, I. I, I... <laughs> yes, at I'm least. not gonna lie, Jerry. I I listened to our Silent Hill Revelations episode because because we, we just put it mm. up, and I'm like, you know what? I stand by what I said. I like that movie. I don't care. <laughs> okay, so uh, friendship redacted. <laughs> friendship <laughs> redacted. <laughs> but um, yeah, I've got nothing good to say about this piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's atrocious, it's abhorrent, Slipping. absolute Slipping. devil spawn Love. piece of absolute garbage. It, it was awful. I'd rather watch all of the Resident Evils, but at the same time, as one film like that. This, this is this is the worst film ever. Oh no, credits! Oh, it just rolls into one. Oh my god! No, oh, in fact, no. That. Just all films being played on like five different TVs at the same time <laughs> and trying to focus on all the individual storylines. That would be better than Slender Man. Do they really need four vapid girls as well? Could they not have just had one decent character to like try and carry so much, it? Yeah. Because you know like, we, we keep coming back to these girls because they, they they were atrocious. There was nothing to them, and like, nothing against the actresses. Like, like I mean, we, said, we can't even remember the names I, or who they are or where they were or if they were the person in the particular scene. Like, was it really Holly in the tree at the end, the, or was the it the Stephen or whatever? I think it was Holly in the tree, I'm pretty sure. What what even happened to Ren? What the fuck happened no to Ren? No idea. Could was, not tell you. She was pushed out the window, wasn't she? No, she, she No, got, no, she, she, she got Holly grabbed her. Did she? Didn't she? What? But then what happened to her no, after that? Ren, Ren survived, didn't she? I again, I, I can't fucking remember, but I'm sure Ren survived. What happened to the um this is like Henry's wife. What happened this to the blindfold ridiculous. girl who took a blindfold <laughs> off because she just kind of went a bit weird, didn't she? Which one was, was Hallie, wasn't it? No, man, the one in the... <laughs> oh, Chloe. Shit, Chloe, oh, that's yeah. it. So what happened to Chloe? Who the fuck's Chloe? The one who took a blindfold <laughs> off in the forest and then like got like strangled by the Slender Man. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, Ren, she got like taken out the window. She didn't fall out the window. The, the tentacles took her out. Didn't oh, they? Was... shit. Oh, so yeah. she did. Yeah, that that was the last... bit. And it was so over the top. We yeah, forgot that was... about that. <laughs> that was like 500,000 just right there, gone. Oh, oh my, my goodness. God. I, can't, I can't. Yeah. Wow. Imagine watching a film and then talking really about it 15 minutes later and can't, you can't talk about it because it's so shit. I don't know, Dip. I, th- I, think they, I think they could. I think, I think there's enough sort of like uh, enough source material there. It's, it's obviously, it's very vague and flimsy at the moment, but I feel like they could build upon it to make it creepy. I, 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 another thing that I kind of liked, I think that there was a part where they were like reading an old story. Or something. Was it like the Pied Piper? Oh, that was yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. That, yeah, was, that was a little, was that was like a little bit it. creepy. That was a little bit interesting. You know, yeah, that exactly yeah, a little bit of like sort of nuance to it. There could, there's maybe there's a few areas like that which stuck out. It was like they could maybe expand upon this. 
Um, but yeah, I, I'm not claiming that I want to or could uh, do any of that. I just feel like give it to some <laughs> people with actual talent, with actual money, with actual interest in making something good rather than just a shitty cash grab. I think it could be a passable movie yeah. and have one good character, not just four fucking soulless fucking empty vessels so... that just do nothing for the movie but make it unenjoyable. I mean, I've got a headache just talking about it. To be <laughs> do, you, do you want to hear my suggestions I, for I how they can make this good? Yeah, go on. All right. Two words. Well, three words. Slenderman Balamori crossover. <laughs> Balamori? So, yeah. So <laughs> Balamori it zooms out and it, what's the story in Balamori? <laughs> Balamori. And then it like, skips to like part of this film. And then it goes back to Balamori, and it turns out Miss Hooley, she's actually got schizophrenia, and she's imagining the film, and she just goes on a rampage, and then, then Balamori ends. I'd love it if the intro is, what's the story in Balamori, and then it's just static for the next <laughs> 10 minutes. <laughs> no, the rest of the episodes of Balamori are just static. There's like 10 seasons in the first episode after four seconds of the intro. Bash! And then the rest of the seasons are just static. Imagine! <laughs> <laughs> That'd be so oh, good. Boy. <laughs> I do think this this movie would have worked way better as a found footage. Yeah. Thing. Yeah, I think it would have been. There yeah. was bits in the movie where they you know when they were looking at Katie's laptop and she had like downloaded other people's clips. Mm. I was like, oh that she looks kinda good. Kind of like it, like where he, there's one clip where they just turn around and he's like stood directly under the lamppost, like being completely still. And I was like, oh, nah. I was like, it reminded me of there was, a, there was a bit with a, like, I'm sure there was like a bit with a little kid and he got like pulled into a bush and it was quite disturbing. It reminded, I don't know if you've if he's seen signs. Oh, amazing. There's always yes. that, there's that, there's that found footage sort of sequence where like, oh, don't, don't, Jack. You know, the, you know, the, Joey what I mean, right? Time. Yeah, yeah, know exactly, that's like, that, so that always, I always remember because I saw that in the cinema years decade i always remember because it was the day before i went like to america with uh, like a school friend and it was like <laughs> I, was, I was 10 or 11 and i just remember coming back from the cinema like literally hiding in my like in a jumper like you know I, the whole it was one of the only movies i watched where i was like literally like this sort of quote-unquote hiding behind the sofa but mm. i was just, you know i had my shirt up that always freaked me out that alien sort of i mean i've always been scared of aliens but that that's that sort of yeah, dude. i know a lot of people slate uh, signs, but I, I think that's great. I love it. Yeah, I think that's tension and sus- like suspense done really well. I mean, it's got Mel Gibson honest. in it. Yeah. It's already me, a classic. Me and Joey have talked about it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, because I, I remember watching it when I was a kid, and like I was actually so scared. This is like really embarrassing. I, I've mentioned this before, but I was so scared that my dad had to like go around the house with me, showing me that there wasn't an alien. Like, there's not an I'm not gonna... alien on the top of your house. There's not an alien on top of the house. There's nothing under the beds. There's nothing in all the wardrobes. And we, we had to sleep for like three nights with every single door open, every single cupboard open with all the lights on. Fast forward to today's times, otherwise. right? And that scenario happens. And why it's a good but instead, movie. it's your dad showing you around the house, showing you that there's no Slender Man DVDs in the house. <laughs> Just so you don't get scared. Fast forward at night. to today, and I own, and I can fall asleep with just my nightlight on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, could you imagine talking about this shitty movie in like 10, 15 imagine. years? On a, you know, on a podcast. What do you want to be when you're uh, an adult? Oh, no. I want to be oh, an astronaut. No. Oh, I want to do a podcast on Slender Man <laughs> on a Saturday <laughs> night in my boxers <laughs> with three of the lads, <laughs> and then call it quits. I'm retiring after yeah. that. Well, your career's peaked after this, you know. Oh. Yeah, it's it's all downhill from here, really. Isn't I mean, it? we were joking, but there's some people that make a lot of money from doing. What we're oh doing yeah, right now, and it's, absolutely, and it's upsetting. Oh, we can just spend money; it's fine. Oh yeah, we can just spend money. Yeah. You know, we're the, we're the bottom of the chain. Lads. Money, I've got. We're just we're, the, we're producing products. You know, we just we keep I the dream alive. Cut out again. One second. Oh no. Nah. Okay, I'll write that down. So Jack's disappeared. Maybe he's talking now, and then the podcast will sound like so total shit. <laughs> well, Is he coming back in the jazz? One minute thirteen. I'll write that down. Jack is back. Can he hear me? No idea what's going on there, boys. It's all uh, right. Still recording. One minute, 13, 30. That's fine. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to be so lazy as to not even edit this out. Who cares? <laughs> okay, cool. I don't care that much. <laughs> okay, cool. I don't want to work that hard for something. I just want to chuck it up on YouTube. Okay, fair enough. Fair dues. Um, is there anything else anyone wants to say? I'm, I don't think there's anything nope. else to say, Dave. Would you... <laughs> <laughs> you said that in the most, like... <laughs> Um, I don't think there's anything to say. Like it was like a disappointed <laughs> or, principal or a doctor or giving like, therapy. Like, like 
death uh, notice to like the patient or something. Death notice. What to someone yeah. who's dead? You're you're dead. <laughs> Uh, I, uh, sir slash madam, I don't know if you know this, but you are uh, <laughs> about to die. Deceased. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, you'll die. You're like, <laughs> but no, no. Seriously, it felt like therapy. It felt like that was such a shit movie. But I feel better. At least nice. this was entertaining, right? Talking about the actual movie itself was entertaining, so I'll give it that. that I'll give it true. the fact that it gave us some entertainment, yeah. uh, and hopefully anyone else that listens to this drivel. Um, <laughs> an hour and four. Yeah, the months. movie itself was a drivel of the highest order. A drivel of the highest order. A drivel. It's my closing statement. A drivel. A drivel. <laughs> I tell you, I am going to watch um, The Haunting of Bly Manor. It that's looks on Netflix amazing. Next. Because I really enjoyed Haunting of Hill I just House. watched that recently. Is it, good is, is it a direct sequel no. to that? or is it just like, like a spiritual, spiritual successor. Spiritual successor to it? It's oh, kind of like okay. American Horror so Story. The actors are the same. Well, some of the actors are the same, but just playing different parts. When does it come it's out? out. Came out yesterday. Out. Oh really? Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah, I'll be I'll be watching that. Is it all like released yeah. at once, or Netflix is it like coming out weekly? Oh, oh golden, yeah. golden. I love it when they do yeah. that because I've got to watch the season finale of The Boys tonight. Oh yeah, I, oh, I still wait. need to watch, I that. watch that. I haven't. I've still. I'm still like three episodes into the first mm. season, and it's one of my. Oh, so good. It's Such on my backlog, job. but I will get around to it. Will yeah. You? Lovely. All right. Let's call it a day. Jack, thank you so much for coming on. Appreciate it. Thank, Thank you, guys. Jack, was mint. Joey, you actually turned up. <laughs> I'm amazed. I am <laughs> amazed. A miracle in itself. <laughs> I was even. I, I. I'm not gonna lie. When I sent you the message earlier, when I was at work, <laughs> I was really throwing you some shade. Of like, oh, Joey. Oh, so she's like, oh, if you're gonna cancel, you just do it now, please. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. I, I sent that message and I was like, wow, I was such a bitch. I know. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it made me feel bad though, so I had to agree. Yeah, Joey just brings the bitch out when you do. Yeah, bring oh, out that brings the bitch out in me I as do, well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Joey, I'm gonna sass. screenshot the messages me and Jack have had about you. Amazing. Yes. <laughs> I'll get them tattooed <laughs> on my <laughs> back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you so much, everyone. Uh, take it easy. Yep. Cheers. Bye. Bye. Cheers, guys. Bye.